Join me in welcoming back uh, uh, some guests. This is uh, Bishop uh, Pateras Sprogas from uh, Latvia. He's the uh, Baptist bishop of the uh, country, and his assistant, uh, Casper Stearns, who is in charge of uh, church planting. Let's give them a welcome. Uh, good to have you back with us again. And uh, uh, Pateras, you were here, uh, I think, last Christmas. You were here with your family, and you were uh, just getting over the loss of one of your children, a little four-year-old, Bella, who passed on. And it was a very sad time, and we're glad to have you back on maybe a happier day today. And uh, I'll let you give a greeting. Uh, thank you. It's uh, it's pleasure and honor to be back here and to celebrate your special day. Uh, you know, uh, uh, I want to thank you for being a blessing for this community and also for being a very mission-minded church as you have been blessing uh, uh, to other parts of the world and also uh, as you have started a relationship, uh, we have started a relationship with Converge and uh, thank you for the work you are doing in other parts of the world. And yeah. Caspers, you've got a special shirt on. What is this shirt? Well, this shirt is a, a BPI draft uh, shirt. It's a camps, what we do for teenager boys in Latvia, uh, basically to cast the vision for church planting and ministry. And these are the boys, 14, 15, 16 year young boys. And what, what do they do? At the, why do they go to this camp? Uh, they, these are more like survival type of camps and we train them and we teach them about uh, how to do ministry and, and we hope that in the future they will be a pastors and church planters. Because when I was 15 years young, I had a calling to be in a ministry and we believe that God is even today calling those young men one day to be a pastors. Uh, you, have, you have a problem with, you have, how many churches did you have when you started? We started with uh, 88 churches, but uh, the problem was that at that time we had only 66 pastors, but that was only part of the problem. We realized that if nothing changes, and pretty much by today we would have only 44 pastors left because the average age was so high and young people were not considering to enter ministry. And that's what happens if the church is not doing well. It doesn't attract new leadership. So uh, with BPI draft camps, what we realize that we need to, actually when we, when we are recruiting future pastors for BPI, which is Baltic Pastoral Institute, where we train pastors and church planters, we realize that sometimes uh, that age group was not in the church anymore. So by BPI draft camps, we try to work with them before they leave the church at teenager okay. years. How many students at the uh, Baltic Pastoral Institute? We have uh, 28 students, and at this time we have 22 graduates. So that cool. is, a, I mean, we are really thankful to God that, you know, he has blessed uh, this work and, and uh, young people enter ministry and commit their lives to it, but to become pastors and church planters. And, yeah. and at this point, it would be very hard to imagine our work without, without the Baltic Pastoral Institute. And Casper's uh, in the area of church planting, what's, what's the challenge for you right now, or what could we pray for you about? I think it's always a challenge is, uh, you know, the first church uh, in a church planting is your family. It's your marriage, and, and, and sometimes we see these challenges that uh, be, uh, the young guys are excited to go and plant a church, but you first need to take care of your first church. It's your family, and I think that's one of the things need yeah. to pray. And another thing is to pray for, for team. And we strongly believe to plant the healthy church you need. You must have a team. And, and sometimes it's not easy to recruit team. And, and also pray for those places where they plant a church because sometimes people's hearts are close to the gospel. They don't want to hear gospel. And, and just uh, give a right uh, approach to, to reach those people who are lost. Well, I'm going to come and pray, pray for you uh, both, and then, uh, uh, Bishop, I'll ask if you'd open the service with a prayer for us. So, Lord, we thank you for our brothers who are serving Christ in Latvia. We pray your blessing upon them. We thank you for their commitment and their faithfulness to you, even through difficult times and even through just the struggles that they face on a daily basis. We pray that you will bless them and help them and encourage them in the Lord, and we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, God, for this church and for the ministries they have been doing and will be doing 
thank you for for every person who is not coming just to receive but uh, wants to invest in your kingdom uh, in reaching out to people and sharing the good news and thank you for your presence in this service and do your work uh, among us in jesus name we pray amen